All right, guys. Today we are going to do exercise seven, which is shapes. So basically, we are going to be drawing uh, a little bit. So let me just show you guys an example of what we are going to do. Uh, so we are creating a picture, and this is going to be more like doing Illustrator. Okay, now I'm going to go to Photoshop. Okay, we're going to go to new file, print, um, just select landscape. If you want to create a picture uh, on a portrait, that's fine too. So I'm going to show a little bit about drawing this time, which is really more like Illustrator. And we have uh, the options here. So if you come to this, there are a lot of different shapes that you can create here. And the difference is, you know, this section uh, on Photoshop was not there before. It was only on Illustrator. And now Photoshop has a little bit of Illustrator ad added to it. So you can create shapes. So let's just create a rectangular shape. And whatever color we have selected here is going to be the fill color. But you can also go, um, go here and change your fill color to any color you like. You can create a stroke. Um, you can make a black border if you like, and you can change the thickness of your stroke. So you can play with your shape, but I want to show you this one thing. When you look at this layer here, you see that there is a little shape here, which means this is not a regular, um, Photoshop shape. So it is more like a vector based shape. So when we um, go to, for example, create a new layer and let's create a shape again. So I'm going to go to shapes. Let's make this an ellipse. Um, you can also change that into a pixel based shape. So I'm going to make that circle here. And you see that the circle doesn't have that little icon uh, as this layer, because this is pixel based. What I'm going to do is create another shape, this time a rectangle, but again, select the pixels. I just want you to see the difference. So uh, we're going to create a little rectangle here. So what happens is when you create it as a pixel, uh, it doesn't create a new layer. So you can't really go back and do a lot of things. So every time you create a shape, it creates a separate layer. But if you're on one layer and you're creating two shapes, then it kind of joins them together and pick up. Yeah, so when we pick up this shape, you actually have just one shape now. It's all connected. So this is the difference between shape versus pixels. Um, if you create a shape here and select pixels, each shape you create will be on the same layer and they will not be able, you will not be able to separate them. Okay, you can move them together. Um, and I'm creating now a triangle. And now if I go to move tool and try to move this, this is one shape. Okay. So you can no longer actually change, uh, I mean, move them separately because everything is in one layer. It's just one thing. But if I go to the shape and I select shape again, and I create a polygon. Okay. Uh, and of course, you can change the colors and everything. I'm going to make it red just to prove you a point. So I have that. Now um, I can actually go to move. Hold on. I can go to move tool and I can move this separately because it's a separate layer. So I just want you guys to understand this. And again, everything is visible based on the order of the layers. So if you want this to be up front, you can always move that layer and it's going to be above 
the uh, pixel layer we created. Okay. So this is just the basics. Now I'm going to delete everything and we're going to create a picture. Oh, uh, one other thing I want to show you here is you can also go to those shapes and you see the, uh, the line and all that. Actually, let me just show you one other thing here. So if you select a path and let's change the color to this color. If you select a path, uh, what you're drawing is basically just the outside. So you can do that if you don't want it to be filled. Um, and then if you want to go to custom shape tool, you can also select custom shapes. So here you have a couple options. So we can do a flower. You can select this and create a little flower here. Okay, now because we have the path selected, the flower is showing up just as the borders, but you could also change it to a shape and create a flower and it would automatically fill your flower, flower with whatever color is selected here, okay? Um, I kind of copied this accidentally. So let's control Z out of this. All right, so there are a lot of different shapes that you can try. Now we're going to create a little picture. In that uh, exercise, you can be creative. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to first delete all the layers that we worked on. Now, um, first I want to draw a little background. So I'm gonna fill up the entire place with this. Um, and actually, maybe I can do it like this and fill that, make it a little bit lighter. I want to make this a little bit lighter. All right, well, it looks a little bit gray, but let's just keep it at that. Um, now I'm going to create another rectangular shape and you can always enter and it will create you in the same one. So I'm going to use my move tool and you can see this is a separate layer now, but I'm going to change the colors on this. Let's see. So this one, let's make it a green color. Okay, so it's more like grass. Okay, and I can change the shape. Um, I'm going to make it neat here. Okay, so we have some grass, we have a sky. Um, let's create a little sun here. So I can just go here, use the ellipse tool and put a little sun here. Of course, it's going to have to be yellowish. So let's make it yellow. Um, should I make a border on this? Maybe I should create a more yellowish border, like a lighter yellow border. And I can make it a little bit, yeah. So we have a sun, okay. Um, when you enter, it makes a copy of this, by the way. So you can delete that other copy. Now let's put a tree in here. I'm gonna go to this and go to custom shape tool. And I'm going to select a tree. So let's do this one. We're going to put it here. All right. So um, what else can I do? I can maybe draw a line. So we're here. Maybe we can create a new layer. That way everything it's above everything else. I can create a line. Um, line is selected. We can make the fill a little bit bluer. So let's make it dark blue. And 
we're going to create this line here and it's showing in this case and I want to create another line here so maybe I need kind of a triangle tool here instead of the lines yeah I think this might make it a little bit easier to make it look like a river it's going to be a horrible one but I'm going to get rid of the lines yes and delete the other line yes so I'm going to keep it like this kind of like this is a little river flowing here okay and I can move this oops we want to be on this layer move it here okay so we have a little river uh let's put a boat on this liver river so i can go to custom shape tool and i can select boats let's do a little boat okay here and we are going to say okay I mean, I don't like this boat, but I can change the fill color to a um, boat like this. And I'm going to obviously make it a tiny little boat here. Then go to your move tool and move it like that. Okay, so we have a little river, we have a boat on it. And I want to put a couple of flowers here. So now I can go to. The custom shape tool pick some flowers okay i'm gonna do this one here create it right here and now we can change the fill colors so let's make these really bright colors so let's make this one red and we're going to make it much much smaller Okay, um, we are going to create another one. So go here. Okay, well, this you have to get out of this one. Now let's go do this one. We create that and we want to select a different color. Let's make this one yellowish. Okay, and enter to get out of it. We can create this one and we'll make this purple. Okay, and you get out of this. So you can fill this area up with lots of different flowers if you want and change the color of each one. Um, let's make it like pink and go back and enter of course each of these are separate layers so you will be able to move wherever you want your flowers if you go to that uh, oops you go to that flower anyway so you can make some changes now you can also write something on here so you can go to the sky and we can select the type tool and just say, okay, let's select a color here. Uh, let's make our color white. Okay, let's say, good morning. Okay, those are right. Oh, our layer is way too down so you have to get that layer up above everything else right so the text layer has to be above so that it's visible okay now you can go to the move tool and move it somewhere else all right so that's basically it uh, you can be creative you can create uh, pictures but this is 
kind of like an illustrator case situation. And I want you to just play with those shapes, create a picture and submit this. So we are going to go back and save it as a PSD file as usual. Um, and the reason we didn't change the resolution is we're not really taking any pictures from the internet. Um, so we're just doing everything here. Of course, my other monitor picks up everything. So I'm gonna save these to my Photoshop exercises as exercise seven shapes. And we are done for today.